Mr. Coyle here for Coyle Maths. Today we're going to be looking at equations of tangents to curves for higher maths at differentiation. So you should remember that the first thing is differentiation tells us the gradient of the tangent of a curve. So if I draw a curve like so, a tangent, remember, is just a line that touches it at one point. And we, if we differentiate a function, we're, we're given an equation that would tell us the gradient. And if we had a specific point then, we could substitute that point in to find the specific gradient and then use y minus b equals mx minus a to find the equation of the tangent. So example one says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve with equation y equals x squared minus 3 at the point 2, 1. So our first step is to differentiate this function to find the equation for the gradient. So the y by the x is just equal to 2x. So at x equal to 2, our gradient equals 2 times 2, which is 4. So we've got our gradient. Now we can use y minus b equals mx minus a. So our point, remember, is 2, 1. So that is an a and a b. So y minus 1 equals 4, the gradient, x minus 2. And we can just multiply that out to get y minus 1 is 4x minus 8 on y equals 4x minus 7. There's the equation of our tangent at the point 2, 1. A function is defined on a suitable domain by f of x is x cubed minus 2x. Find the gradient of the tangent to the curve of y equals f of x at x equal to minus 2. And also, we're only given the x part, so we're going to have to find the y part of the coordinate at some point as well. So let's start off by finding our gradient. So same steps, f dash x is equal to 3x squared minus 2. At x equal to minus 2, we can substitute that in f dash of minus 2 equals 3 times minus 2 squared, take away 2. That's 3 times 4 minus 2. That's 12 minus 2, which is 10. So we can state that our gradient is equal to 10. We now need a y part of our coordinate, so we can substitute that into f of x, because y equals f of x. So if I do that at the side, remember, y equals f of x, which is x cubed minus 2x. So f of minus 2 equals minus 2 cubed minus 2 times minus 2. Minus 2 cubed is minus 8. Minus 2 squared is 4. Minus 8 add 4 is minus 4. So our point is simply minus 2 minus 4. And that's going to be our a and b. So we can now use y minus b equals mx minus a. So we've got y minus minus 4 equals 10x minus minus 2. So y plus 4 is equal to 10x. Multiply the bracket gives us plus 20. Or y equals 10x. 20 take away 4 is 16, so plus 16. The equation of our tangent is y equals 10x plus 16. Okay, final example before we move on to pass paper questions. Example 3 says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve with equation y equals the cube root of x squared, where x is negative 8. So we're going to have to differentiate it, so we need to get it ready to differentiate first. So y equals not the cube root of x squared, but x to the power of 2 thirds using the laws of indices. So the y by dx is 2 thirds of x, take away 1, I get minus a third. Or to tidy that up, 2 over 3 times the cube root of x. So at x equal to minus 8, our gradient equals 2 third, 2 over 3, times the cube root of minus 8. This could be a non-calculated question, which is why I put it back as a third, because the cube root of minus 8 is minus 2. So we get 2 over 3 times minus 2. And simplifying that gives us minus a third. So we've got our gradient is minus a third. We now need to find our point, remember, as well. So we need to substitute into y. So going back up, Remember, y was equal to the cube root 
of x squared. So at x equal to minus 8, y equals the cube root of minus 8 squared. Cube root of minus 8 is minus 2, so that equals minus 2 squared, which is 4. So our point is simply minus 8 and 4. And now we're almost finished. We've got our point, we've got our gradient, so we can use y minus b equals mx minus a. So using y minus b equals mx minus a, there's our a and b. We've got y minus 4 is minus a third, x minus minus 8. Tidying that up by eliminating the fraction, I'll just multiply through by 3. We get 3y minus 12 equals minus 1x plus 8. Or 3y minus 12 is minus x. Take away. So 3y plus x equals, taking the minus 12 across, 12 take away 8 is 4. That's one way you could leave it, or you could leave it as y equals minus a third x plus four thirds as well, if you just kept it as a fraction. 2015 paper on question two says, find the equation of a tangent to the curve y equals 2x cubed plus 3, where x is minus 2. So the first thing we need to do is differentiate that. So the y by dx is equal to 6x squared. So at x equal to minus 2, our gradient equals 6 times minus 2 squared. That is 6 times 4, which is 24. We've now got a gradient, but we're near a point. So getting our point, y equals 2x cubed plus 3. So at x equal to minus 2, y equals 2 times minus 2 cubed plus 3. That's 2 times minus 8, add 3. That's minus 16, add 3 which is minus 13. So our point is just minus 2, minus 13. So we've now got our point, so we now can just work out the equation of the tangent by using y minus b equals mx minus a, if you like. So there's our a and b. So y minus minus 13 equals 24, x minus minus 2. So we can change that to y plus 13 equals 24 x plus 2. And for the purpose of this, you would get your mark, your fourth mark, finally at that point anyway. But let's just multiply it out and get the correct the form we like usually. So y equals 24 x. You get 48, take away 13, which is 35, so plus 35. And we're done for our fourth mark. Okay, 2018, paper one, question seven, quite a long one, this. Write down the coordinates of P. It gives us a curve with an equation. It gives us a line. It says, write down the coordinates of P, where it cuts the y-axis. So there it is there. Well, that's quite easy. It cuts the y-axis where x equals zero. So if I just substitute zero into this equation, I get zero, 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 five. So the, it says, write down, it just wants me to write down zero, five. And there's no real working required for that to do that. Okay, part B says, determine the equation of a tangent to the curve at P. So we've got our curve equation, we've defined the equation of a tangent, so we need to differentiate it and do exactly what we've been doing before. So part B, the y by dx equals 3x squared minus 2 times 3 is 6, so 6x plus 2. So we've got our differentiated equation, that tells us the gradient, and it's at the point P, and P, remember, was 0, 5. So at x equal to 0, the y by dx just equals 2. So our gradient equals 2. Our point, remember, is 0, 5. So therefore, we can work out the equation straight away. I know it's 2x add 5, because if it cuts to y-axis, c is 5. But if you prefer to use the same method straight away, you can just call that a and b, and do y minus 5 equals 2x minus 0. So y equals 2x plus 5. 
and that is the equation of our tangent. Part C is quite commonly find the coordinates of Q where the point meets the tangent again. It's talking about meeting or intersections, so that means that it is simultaneous equations, okay? It's the point where the line's equation equals the curve's equation. So let's do that for part C. So our curve's equation is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. And our line's equation is 2x plus 5. And therefore, the point of intersection We can say that x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 2x plus 5 because the y of the curve must equal the y line. Let's rearrange that then. So we can see there's 2x on both sides, so they cancel, 5 on both sides cancel. So you end up with just x cubed minus 3x squared equals 0. And we can solve that by factorising. x squared is a common factor, so we've got x minus 3 equals 0. So x equals 0 or x equals 3. Now we've already used the 0 part, so we, can, we need to use the 3 to get our y. So using any of the y equations, might as well just use the simplest one. Uh, x equal to 3, y equals... 2x plus 5, so that's 2 times 3 plus 5, which is 11. And we need to then state the actual coordinate, so our coordinate is 3, 11. 3, 11 is our point, and we're done. This has been Claire Mass, and today we've been looking at how to find the equation of a tangent to a curve. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.